Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Say As In Mod Let's Play for Mountain Blade Warband. So, uh, clearly, I am not where we left off at the end of the last episode. I'm actually far to the south of the map. And so, what happened was at the end of last episode, after we had taken this town, I had resolved to defend it until it was assigned to somebody, uh, and I was hoping they would give it to somebody else so I could rebel and use that as my opportunity to go and join uh, the Principality of Caldim and offer up this town to the Queen uh, as a gift for allowing us to join, uh, this being her original capital, so she'd probably really like to have that back. Also, they don't have any cities, and so they'd probably just like to have any city at all. But uh, that was day 53, and it is now day 77, and I have still yet to be given a decision on this one way or another. Uh, I think what happened is that there has been a lot of conquest going on, and so the Empire's had a lot of stuff to divvy out, and therefore this has just gotten, um, you know, kind of lost in that list of territories that need to be handed out. So, uh, I was having a hard time keeping my party together while sitting around for several weeks. Uh, I was, you know, fighting whatever I could in the area, a lot of deserters and whatnot, but uh, it was hard. It was hard to track stuff down and, you know, keep my party from disbanding. And so I was called on campaign, I figured, what the hell, I need to keep fighting anyways or I'm going to lose my army. And that's how I ended up all the way down here, where we are currently besieging Hidshari. So for at least starters today, we're going to go ahead and fight this siege battle. Then uh, we can only hope that this is the next piece of real estate to be you know, handed out, otherwise we're going to be waiting quite a while for our decision. But uh, we'll go from there. Um, obviously, we're, we're with a campaign. Once they finish the siege, they may move on to something else, and we can just stick with them for a while if they don't. Uh, maybe we'll have a feast or something that we can check out. But I am tired of the Empire. I'd like to move on. But until, you know, that city stuff sorts itself out, we're kind of stuck here. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Unfortunately, I still haven't found my blunderbuss that I wanted for siege battles. I'm actually going to pull out here and make sure these guys get in first because time freezes whenever I go into battle. So we want the maximum amount of troops in there before we jump in. But yeah, I was planning on buying a blunderbuss, and unfortunately I've yet to find one. Um, so I'm just going to be running with my normal um, field battle loadout, which is not ideal for sieges, but it's, I guess, not the worst. Okay, so uh, forgive the uh, very poor frame rate right now. There's a lot of people spawning in. And uh, the mod just doesn't know what to do with it, or the game engine doesn't know what to do with it. But anyways, uh, this is a very familiar siege map, actually. We just fought here. Um, not here in the sense that you know, we fought in this town, but uh, the same map on a different town. And so, I think we have a pretty good idea of what to expect. Last time around, they had a bunch of musketeers pulled up just inside the entrance to the, uh, the you know walled city. And so I think we can expect something similar here. Uh, I don't know much, if anything, about the faction we're fighting, so we'll have to see about that. But as far as I'm aware, um, I think this is like the horse archer faction. And I don't know that they deploy a lot of muskets. So it'll be mostly archers, but that just means that they can shoot faster uh, for less damage. But potentially they could stun lock us, and that would be bad. Also, I appear to have... Oh, no, I guess they're keeping up. Anyway, um, am I seeing arrows? Is that what those are? I mean, you've got one stuck in your shield, so I assume. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess they are using archers. Yeah, I see arrows flying by. Interestingly, the plate armor I'm wearing would probably be entirely invulnerable to the arrows. Well, not the arrows, but the um, the bows that they're using. This armor is like, you know, 16th century armor. Um, and they're not using long bows. They're using like short bows that you would use on horseback. And so, realistically, their arrows would probably not be able to penetrate the armor I'm wearing. Granted, you know, plate armor at that point was so good that uh, a glancing shot from a musket would probably bounce off. Oh god, there's quite a few of them actually. Um, yeah, go in there. Everybody get in there. Go on, charge. Charge, charge, charge. You guys are going to kind of provide a buffer for me here. That bridge is really tough because it forces you to kind of 
come in very uh, strung out, I guess. Why are you guys stopping? Everybody charge. Do not stand around. Get in there. You need to sw uh, swarm the archers before they can do too much damage. I'm going to try to hide behind these bodies so I don't get just riddled with arrows. Um, that's apparently not working. So I'm going to back off. Get in there, guys. Um, oh, God. How am I still getting hit? Jesus. Yeah, so apparently the arrows are pretty effective against this armor here, but again, in reality, they would probably not be able to penetrate. Uh, we are getting slaughtered right now. I don't know how many of those are our troops. I'm hoping none, but I honestly have no idea. How are we not getting any kills? This is ridiculous. Well, I think it's safe to move up at least. Um, I'm probably going to have to use this and just sit back. But the amount of kills that we're getting is ridiculously low. You would think, you know, we're in melee right now with something, but we're not killing it, clearly. And their archers, meanwhile, are just shredding us. Which I guess sort of makes sense because none of the musketeers or anybody are wearing any sort of armor. They're just wearing, like, wool coats. Uh, and an arrow will be able to penetrate that pretty easily. What in the hell are you guys doing? Who are you even fighting? I might have been better off letting the auto resolve handle this one because clearly we're at a disadvantage. I think they're all trying to push into that doorway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tell them to attack ahead. Go that way. Everybody go that way. I should have done that a while ago. That was the issue. They were all trying to go one by one up those... I assume there's stairs in there. Yeah, go, go, go. Come on, attack these guys. Get them. Go fight them. Oh god. They're getting just completely slaughtered as they approach. Of course, they all backed into the enemy too. Here we go. Now we're actually fighting at least. Oh man. Oh, and I'm down. Fantastic. Okay, let's back out and try this again. Now that I have a better idea of what to expect... God, they killed a lot of us. Okay, so we're hustling back on over there. Um, I've noticed a lot more of my own men deployed on this one, so I hope we're a lot more successful because it's going to start costing me a lot of troops. Although I'm willing to bet that I did lose a considerable amount in that last battle, given just how many people died. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is immediately issue the order that I issued uh, at the end of that last battle, where I'm going to try to push everybody past that doorway, because clearly um, they can't pathfind very well here. And so there's the little doorway on the side with a, a stairwell that goes up to the top of the, the walls. And everybody was trying to get up there, but clearly they couldn't, and then that just allowed the archers down in the courtyard to absolutely murder everybody. So I'm going to tell them to go after the archers down in the courtyard and then worry about everybody on the walls afterward. Uh, ooh, I just got hit. I wish I had a shield. That would be pretty effective here, but... Um, uh, you know what? Ask and you shall receive. It's a wicker shield. I don't know how much good it's going to do me, but... We can only hope it will be good enough. And I, I might regret ditching that lance, but oh well. Okay. So here's what I need to do. I need to keep my shield up long enough to... God damn it. To issue that order. And we will now rush. God, did that already get taken out? It did. And I'm already down to, like, no health. But that'll get our guys over to the archers, where this battle will be a little bit more winnable. And, oh, I probably shouldn't stand there. Probably shouldn't just stand anywhere, really. I don't know where I can stand where I won't be in danger. Come on, guys, get in there. Try to flank around and take some of these guys out, at least. Oh, crap. Well, I got you, at least. No! Ah, damn it. Okay, well, I'm gonna back out. Clearly, we can't win this, given our current approach 
So I'm going to just say join the assault without me. And we're going to probably end up doing a lot better here. So let's see. Um, am I losing any men? I don't think so. Is that the end of it? That is the end of it. Okay. Now I'm very concerned to see how many men I have left. They'll be gathering for a feast at Kal Kalahar. Okay. Maybe we'll have a tournament. There doesn't seem to be a lot of tournaments in this, though. Uh, I have 63 men, so I did lose about a third of my army there. But it could have been a lot worse, given how many men died in those battles. So we're heading all the way up to here. Uh, I'll probably need to find a couple of fights along the way, because obviously we lost a lot of morale there. And I can't really afford to just have them sitting around doing nothing for that long. Yep, already losing men. You know what? Can we can we recruit here? What do we get? Urban recruits? Perfect. I'll take them. We'll just have to replace what we lose with recruits. Well, I mean, we're going to need recruits either way, so... It's worth stopping on by and grabbing them. Uh, I guess it's not worth stopping at that one, because that's very much out of the way, apparently. Oh, and yeah, we're losing elite troops which absolutely sucks. I think this mod needs a little bit of work in a few of those aspects, uh, mostly in regard to map movement and morale. Uh, it is way too hard to maintain your morale in this game, or this mod. I've found that uh, you can only really go about two days without fighting before you start losing troops. Uh, and I had a lot of time to experiment with this because I was sitting here for 21 days. And I, I could not sit around for very long before I just started losing troops left and right. And realistically, that shouldn't be the case. Um, I understand the mechanic and why it's there, but it's not really a problem in any other mod that I've played. Uh, I don't play especially punishing mods, so I mean that could be part of it, but... Really, it just seems like overkill. Um, you know, as long as you're fighting battles here and there, it shouldn't be a problem. But in this mod, you need to be constantly fighting battles or it's a problem. And they've made that so much harder because map movement in this mod is incredibly painfully slow. So not only does it take longer to get to battles and find them, but you have to be constantly in them and so you're basically just always looking for battles in this mod which gets to be a real downer because there's a lot to do in this mod and there's some cool stuff but you really can't ever take a break to enjoy it because you're going to lose half your party if you do while i'm here i'm going to look for that blunderbuss i don't see one it's it's been real hard to find one which is a shame um could buy some cartridges for these but honestly these are terrible muskets uh, I should probably look into food as well let's just get rid of these I'm also very wealthy um, all those weeks getting paid has really helped there's actually like I think 40,000 gold back at our our first town as well uh, that's a shame let's see I'm gonna buy that that's actually fairly inexpensive and I'm sure someone can make use of it Yeah, that's good enough for me, um, and I'll see if anybody can make use of that helmet. I have, you know, money to burn right now. Uh, we've also got this yellow feathered one, so I'll grab both of those and figure it out from there. We also have characters to level up, so maybe that's something we'll do. Let's check out the tavern here first. I got some more militia, so that'll help bolster our numbers. What are you? A traveler. Okay, that's not going to help me. Well then... It looks like the ta or not the tavern, the uh, the feast has been canceled. We got here and nobody else bothered to show up. So let's go in here. We'll take care of our level ups. We'll start with our a rat first. Uh, so what can you tell me about your skills? I think we're gonna need to go agility here. We want to get to agility twelve to get him to weapon master four, and then after that we can afford to kind of throw the points around elsewhere. I'm going to go with 
power strike for you to make you a better fighter. And let's give you some one-handed skill. Uh, I guess a little bit of each. I forget what he's rolling with. He's like in my personal guard right now. I think he just has this. No, he's probably got a spear, a lance or something. Then we have Kirain. Let's go ahead and... Do I want to up your strength? No, you've got points to burn there. I think we'll go with agility for her as well. We'll try to get her weapon master skill up, although she has some space there too. Uh, and then she is definitely fighting with a sword, so we'll burn our points there. Burkant has leveled up too. He could probably also use agility. Yeah. Let's do that. So one more point will get us to four. In the meantime, we'll give him some more iron flesh. He's a pikeman, so obviously polearm skill is the important one there. And let's see, musketeers. Give me more heavy infantry. They're a little bit more resilient. Jetta is leveled up as well. She could use some strength, but first let's go agility, weapon master three. And we'll get her a little bit better at shooting there. Is that it? Uh, a couple of recruits ready to become militia. Perfect. Okay. And we're back up to 100 men. So we're not doing too badly. Uh, oh, while we're here, did I check? Yeah, this is the one I checked. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was the other one. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. And it's going to take forever to load now. That wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, uh, let's leave. We'll head to our town and pick up our gold. Also, we'll see if uh, maybe one of the merchants there has a blunderbuss. Yeah, I'll sell the people I have. Another issue I have with this mod, aside from, you know, this, is uh, I've noticed that the prisoners escape almost daily. I had a full prisoner train, and uh, by the time I got to town, after the battle, they were all gone already. And I'm surprised I have any at this point, but I, I had, I think, ten at the start of this episode, and obviously I don't anymore. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're fighting you. Okay. Uh, what are you all about? Oh, I don't need you. Alright, well, I guess we're done here. Hey, aren't you supposed to talk to me about this? Because they won't let me leave until you do. There we go. Get my free sword. Okay. Uh, wow, yeah, really nothing doing here. Hmm. What a shame. And I'm not about to try to teach my guy archery or anything. So, we've got a hand cannon. Two of them, actually. What does that require, though, in terms of ammo? It only hits slightly harder than the flintlock pistol, though. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. If it was, like, a significant boost to our range damage, I'd consider it. But it's not. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with what I've got. Um, I should buy more food, though, while I'm here. Uh, don't bother with the beef. If it's going to spoil, there's no point. Um, chicken's really the only one worth doing because it's plus eight. Well, I guess plus seven's not that bad either. Uh, and I'll ditch some cabbages and take a chicken then. And I need to see who can wear this armor. So let's look at that because obviously. Nobody's going to be handing out any towns today, as far as I can tell. Oh, I should have gone into the castle. Oh, well. I'll take care of that. Okay. So you guys all have pretty solid armor. You've got the best armor available. Well, technically, no. I have the best armor available with the pauldrons. But aside from the the pauldrons, he's got the, the thigh plates, at least. Uh, I'm wondering if you could stand to gain some heavier armor. Like, he doesn't really fight, so I don't want to give him a ton of good, or not a ton, I don't know why I said a ton. Uh, I don't want to give him, like, really heavy armor if he's never actually going to see combat. Because he just kind of rides around and shoots at stuff, I think. So, um, Brachus, I think you deserve it. 
it, it is cracked, but I think it's still worthwhile. Um, your pants kind of look awkward with this. Actually, there's like clipping there. You know what? Does that look better? No, it's the same issue. Yeah, just stick with this. Uh, it's a little bit more distinguished as well. I like the, the white and then the little shoulder things. It makes him look more like an officer. This is just kind of a generic set of plate armor. And, you know, all of his men are in just coats anyways. So, yeah. I think I'll hold on to that armor for, I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe the next uh, companion that we recruit will get it or something. But we have extra armor at least. Right, so let's go into the castle here and check out the treasury. Okay, so here's our treasurer. Uh, let's inspect the treasury. Yeah, 40,000, that's what I thought. Because I've been making about 20000 a week. And after the first week, I came here to collect. Uh, but the last two, I didn't bother. And we already had quite a bit here before the three weeks that I passed off camera. So, uh, withdraw money, please. Um, I'm going to take most of it. I'll take 30 and leave 10 here, just in case. Um, and that's that's that. So, how much do I have now? 121,000. That's pretty pretty good. I'm not going to go ahead and buy any uh, investments just yet because I don't know what towns are going to be hostile to me when. For all I know, we're not going to be with so it, it's already conferred this town to somebody. Why has it not given this one to anybody? Unless, did I miss it? Hold on here. Reports. Character report. Um, okay. No, it's not mine. But I never was informed who it was going to. Because it, it would have given me the option to rebel. When did my village get sacked? I don't recall that. I would have been notified, I feel like. Oh well. Apparently they avoided all of the AI-held towns and went straight for mine. Well, I guess they got this one too, but yeah, why didn't they bother with this one, or that one, or that one? I'm gonna see if we can get some recruits while we're up here. And then we're gonna have to swing back around. They've taken, when I say they, our, our faction has taken Gorhad. And... I'm thinking, after we change factions, I kind of want to make that my stronghold. I like where it's located. And again, if we're going to be part of this faction, that is the closest town. Aside from what is going to be the capital. Uh, there is this little route here that takes us to where my other town is. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold that, though. Because once we change factions, it's going to be very... Uh, distant from all of our other holdings. Okay, so our income's down a little bit, but still pretty solid. I mean, we're, we're making money, which is great. But obviously, making a lot of money is better. Uh, we'll jump into the tavern here. I should recruit militia as well. There's like three of you. Anybody else? Nope. Let's grab these militiamen here. And I think that's us back to full. It's just a matter of training them up. And will we be blessed with a blunderbuss? There's a hunting musket. Uh, again, not really a, a damage increase. It, it's obviously going to be more accurate, but it's slower than the pistol to reload. So I think I'm better off just keeping the pistol. Although a bayoneted musket wouldn't be too bad. This is actually significantly better too. And then I wouldn't mind losing the lance so much because I have bayonet. I like that idea. Ooh, that's a balanced lance? 29. 190, 180. So it is shorter. I'll buy it. Obviously, I, again, have money to burn. So I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy this bayoneted musket. And if I don't use it, I can always give it to somebody else. And then a large bag of cartridges. 
and I guess realistically, I could grab myself like a shield or something as well. How much like health do you have versus this? More than double. Resistance is zero. Size 100. So this is smaller. But I'm wondering if like this during a siege would be useful. I guess we can try it, right? So we'll go with that. We'll play around with it. And... I'm not going to bother with anything else while we're here. But yeah, I would like to make this my stronghold in the future. Maybe hold a couple of the forts in this area as well. But I think having an AI lord on this fort would be a good idea because that's the main entrance into this area here. So if you know the AI is constantly defending those, that would be ideal. Uh, somebody's raiding this right now. Let's go check that out. No? Do they already do it? It says it's sacked, but it's still on fire, which generally means that it's actively, or very re recently had been raided. Oh, crap. Good thing we aren't at war with you guys, apparently. Because you came up on me quick. Uh, actually, their numbers aren't that high. But, uh, could have been very bad. Let's see. No, they are enemies. That's weird that they just ignored me like that. Maybe they don't think they can win. I would wager that they probably could, though, because my army is mostly recruits right now. Well, I'm not going to take that fight on. That's not a winning battle, and honestly, as long as they're not attacking my holdings, I, I could care less, but they do. Especially since I'm trying to eventually become allies with them. Let's see. Yeah, they seem to be sort of on the defensive here. A lot of their lords are just sitting back in their forts and whatnot. But they are ignoring me for the most part, which is very odd. Yeah, definitely hostile with them. So I don't know why they're acting so oblivious to my presence. I'm, I'm worried that all of a sudden he's just going to turn and attack me at a very bad time. So I'm going to try to avoid them if I can. But I could, like, raid... Oh, it's already been sacked. I was going to say, I could probably raid one of their villages and get away with it, given how they're behaving now. But then, you know, they might show up in mass and cause us some real issues. So, let's check in here. Um, I haven't met the Guildmaster yet. Obviously, nobody holds this. Does it say anything here? Um, do, do, do. Banner of Tomic Zahn. So, did it, did it get awarded to him? Hold on. Uh, why do I keep clicking on reports? Let's note. Uh, first of all, okay, Mahaza. Notes, locations, M, 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 Mahaza. Belongs to Tomic Zahn. When, when was it awarded to him? It never told me about this. Ah, god damn it. All right, well, we're going to have to come up with another plan then. I need to rebel. I can just, like, bow out graciously and not take my land with me. Or I can try to take some land. It's going to be difficult, though, because we're going to have to venture pretty far out. And then, again, I don't know if it's going to do the same thing, where I clearly asked for this to be awarded to me, and it clearly was not. And yet, I didn't have that option, so I'm wondering if the mod doesn't have that option. Which is concerning. Then, I guess I'm going to have to just bow out graciously, and I'm going to rescind my holdings, so my village and my city here. I'm more sad about this, but I'll, I'll make sure I pull all the gold out of there. But I'm going to have to rescind that, and then go join this faction and just conquer something for myself or, you know, help them take some land. Uh, probably help them take this first and then obviously I wanted to make that mine. But as far as I can tell, that's going to be the only way to do it because clearly the mechanic I usually rely on isn't working here for whatever reason, whether it's intentional or not. Uh, but that's generally the way I do it. I've done it in several playthroughs, so I, I know that it is a thing in Warband. Uh, it's not that I'm like, you know, confused how it works because we do it all the time. 
it's just not working. So, yeah, I will go ahead and end the episode here. And between episodes, I am going to go talk to the Emperor. I'm going to have to track him down wherever he is. Tell him thanks, but uh, no thanks. We're going to go try our luck elsewhere. And then we're going to find the Queen. Get her to take us on, which I think she will because our renown is high enough, but our relations with this faction are not particularly great. They will recover somewhat when I leave this faction because, you know, we won't have the 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 wars counted against us, but other things might still count, so we might be somewhat negative, but I think she'll still be willing to take us on given our renown. And then it's going to be a matter of trying to take some land and then figuring out how the hell to hold it with this small faction. But I think we can pull it off. Um, that's going to be a big one there, and then obviously this one for me, and we'll go from there. I think, I mean, I don't want to start planning campaigns now before we're even part of the faction, but I think expanding north would be better first. I think the Empire is going to give us a lot of problems just given how many lords they have, and so if we could stay at peace with them after... I mean, obviously we need to take this first, but if we could, you know, make a quick peace after that and then focus on expanding into these weaker factions, that might be the better way to go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Saison with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.